In this lecture, let us try to create a family tree which is more complete. So, if you just look at this tree, you could find that John and Isabella are couple. They have children Kevin and Anne. Then Kevin and Emma are couple. They have two children Aaron and Sarah. Sarah and James are couple. They are having two children Rose and Angel. Here Anne is the child of John and Isabella. Anne and George are couple. They have two children Mark and Hannah. Again Hannah and Williams are couple. They are having a child Tom. So this is a family tree which is more complete compared to the family trees we have created in the previous lectures. So if you see this we are using the same data which we have used in the previous lecture that is this one. So in this one we have implemented the additional details display on the click that is when you click on this rectangle it will display spouse Isabella for Kevin Emma for Sarah James Angel no spouse for Hannah Williams and for Anne George. So we are displaying the same information only thing is that it is displayed on the tree itself. It is not displayed on the click event. Instead we are displaying the details along with the parent child information. So this is a more complete tree we are going to develop. So for developing this I have already saved the same code that is of the family tree with elbow connections. Okay so this is the same code as I have shown here. This is the output. We are displaying the information on the click event. So we don't want to have that part now. So let me remove that on mouse down as well as on mouse up. Now I have removed the click event part. Now let me save this and click. No information is displayed. Next what I plan to do is that I plan to move this rectangle a bit towards the right hand side and display additional boxes for displaying the spouse details. So when you represent the data there is no option to have two parent names for one child. So what we need to do we have to add the additional information by using the parent detail that is for John we have to have another box that is an additional box which displays the name of his spouse. Again for Sarah we need to have an additional box which will be displaying the details of her spouse. So there is no way to have two parents for the same child. So we need to do it on our own. Okay so we are going to do that. So first let us try to move the boxes a bit towards the left hand side. We are moving all the boxes towards the left hand side regardless of that box is having a spouse relation or not. Okay so how we can do that? Here for rectangles let me make this as 60 so that it will move 20 pixels towards the left hand side. So how will this change be seen in the tree? Let me save this and show you. See it has moved but the text and the connections are not moved. So we have to move that part as well. So here it should be minus 20 and for connections it should be d.source.x minus 20 right this should do let me save this and show you okay it is giving an error m or m okay i should put it in brackets otherwise it is considered as a minus right so let me save this and check see we are seeing the images now correctly next what we need to do we need to have some extra boxes then the content and also a connecting line between this and the extra box and this line should start from the middle of the connecting line. So first let us try to have the boxes. So after this rectangles let me specify where spouse rectangles equals svg dot append g dot select all rect so this information doesn't have any x and y. We have to make use of this itself and then do the mathematical calculations for positioning them from our part, right? As there are x and y values for the parent and child, there is no x and y value. That is, there is no positioning values for the spouses. 
so what we need to do we have to use the same d dot x and d dot y then do the addition or subtraction of numbers to place them correctly so which data we can use it is information dot descendants itself so data information dot descendants then spouse rectangles dot enter dot append rect okay then we need to set the x and y for this so how we can decide the x and y now it is minus 60 from the original position now suppose we add plus 60 where it will be displayed let me copy this and paste here okay and instead of minus 60 suppose i make it as plus 60 and where it will get displayed let me save this and show you see the boxes are getting displayed towards the right hand side having enough space that is for john here it will be isabella so here there is enough space between the boxes but the issue here is that even for elements or even for child names who do not have a spouse boxes are added see here for angel and also for rose boxes are added for tom box is added for mark box is added so boxes are added for all the child elements so what should we do we should hide the boxes for those child elements who do not have a spouse so how we can manage to do that here after this let me have a class that is classed okay capital is on classed let me have a class named hide and i'm going to set its value to true if it is not having a spouse so function d let me check if d dot data dot spouse equal equals undefined which means that that person does not have a spouse in that case what should we do we should hide it so return true which means this class will be applied else which means that it is not undefined in that case it should be displayed so return false and in the hide class we need to set visibility to hidden so dot hide as it is a class name and we have to specify visibility to hidden hope you understand the logic here it is adding rectangles for all the elements whether it is not having a spouse or having a spouse it was adding boxes as you saw here so angel is not having a spouse still a box is added near to the name so we don't want that so we want to have spouse boxes only for those elements having a spouse so here we are checking if it is not having a spouse then we are returning true because in this class we are setting visibility to hidden if it is having a spouse we need to have that spouse box so we are returning false means this class will not be applied which means that box will be visible now let me do one thing we don't want to have this div with id details because it was added for displaying additional information so let me remove this as well we don't want to have unwanted code now let me save this and show you see there is no box for angel no box for rose no box for tom then no box for aaron because these names do not have spouse information so we have implemented that part 